the last class we talked about scalars and vectors um, and vectors are the physical quantities that need magnitude which is the number as well as direction to be specified properly now people thought about how we can express vectors in physics and people came up with the idea that one way to express vectors is to use arrows now <coughs> why arrows well because you can draw arrows with different lengths that tells how uh, that tells about the magnitude of the arrow or the vector and we can also change the direction of the arrow and that tells that uh, that takes care of the the direction part of the vector and to begin with uh, is we start with an axis system label one of the axes as x or east label the other one as y or north <coughs> And now, if we want to draw a vector, let's say we want to draw um, wind blowing in northeast direction with 10 meters per second. How would we draw this? Well, we can draw this by simply using an arrow like this right now let's say we want to draw a uh, wind which is blowing <coughs> in the north east east direction with 20 meters per second then how would we draw this arrow well, something like this. So what is the difference? The second arrow is twice the length of the first one, which shows that it's twice in magnitude. Also, the angle it makes with the x-axis is 22.5 degrees, while the other one makes an angle of 45 degrees. So what did we specify? We specified the length of the, so what are the two things we specified? First of all, we specified the length. In this case, this was 10 and here it was 20. <coughs> so the first vector can be written as 10 comma 45 degrees and the second vector can be written as 20 comma 25.22.5 degrees which means we are writing it as r comma theta where r is the length of vector and theta is angle it makes with the x axis and this system is called polar coordinate system in which we specify uh, r and theta now the same result which means drawing let's say this particular arrow can be achieved So let's draw it again and now this arrow can also be expressed differently let's see how we can express this arrow by specifying the true projection it puts on the x-axis and the y-axis. So we can obtain this arrow by starting to travel from here 
at 45 degrees and we can also obtain the same arrow by traveling our x distance on the x axis and then our y distance on the y axis and so we can express the vector as our x comma our y and this way of expressing the vector is called the Cartesian coordinate system. Now it's the same arrow which is being expressed by the polar system or by the Cartesian system which means they are telling the same thing but differently so there must be a way out to relate these two systems uh, and we can actually do that by using simple trigonometry if you pay attention you will see that r the magnitude of the vector is nothing but because of Pythagoras theorem this is because of Pythagoras theorem similarly using simple trigonometric relations we can see that and vice versa we can also write and this is these are all called trigonometric these are all because of trigonometric relations so we covered two coordinate systems the polar coordinate system and the Cartesian coordinate system which is being used to express a vector uh, in the next class we'll talk about adding vectors we already have talked about adding scalars but we'll talk about um, adding vectors in the next class